<sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, welcome back to another video, a special video. One that I never thought in a million years I'd be making, but I am. Now, you've seen the title of the video, you know exactly what this is about. So, without wasting time and uh, without rambling on, here it is. Here is the PlayStation 5, and I can't even fit it in the frame. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, we did it. The community, the channel, has brought us to this point. The point that Sony, a huge multi-million dollar company, has sent little old me a PlayStation 5 early. Now, when people say the box is big, you think, oh yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty big. But fucking hell, look at the size of this thing. Like, look at my head in comparison to the box. And look how thick that is. That's a thick boy right there. Holy shit. So, <laughs> all excitements aside, lads, I have the PlayStation 5 in my possession at this very moment and you can you can tell I'm very excited I'm very happy I'm very humbled and I'm very grateful for this it's like you know the channel has done so well this past year we made a transition from doing things that I wasn't too proud of that I didn't see too much creativity going into to a channel that is full of creativity and fun and a niche that I truly love, and that's video games. And I never thought, like genuinely, this is, I know this is a cliche thing to say, but I genuinely didn't think I'd ever be at this point in my YouTube career where I would actually be given something so early, and not just anything, but a console, a video game console, the things that made us so happy as kids at Christmas time, the things that we we absolutely adore and grew up to love. You know, video games and video game consoles, and to actually be given the opportunity to share this with you all early before the initial launch of PlayStation 5, it's astounding, like it really is, and I'm so grateful. So thank you, Sony. Thank you, PlayStation, for first of all reaching out to me <laughs> and then sending me this early console of the PlayStation 5. Honestly, this thing is massive. It is huge. It is a very nice box. Like it's so big that they couldn't even fit the whole console on the box. They had to chop it off down here. But like, look at that, and I'll just show you the box right now, and we're going to do a whole unboxing in this video, lads, so you can see it all firsthand, and you can, you know, hear and see my first impressions, and we'll do a few, a few comparisons as well to previous generation PlayStations, but there it is, lads, play like never before, power your dreams, the PlayStation 5 is in my hands, and you can see here, lads, it says 8K, and obviously 4K 120 FPS. So this is gonna be a next generation of gaming. Quite literally what it says on the box. And I'm excited to just open this up and actually get my hands on this beast. So before we do, I want you to see my first initial reaction to the package coming in the post. Uh, so here it is. What's the crack? So it's uh, early in the morning and I just got a package, a very, very exciting package. Um, it's right here. Been waiting for this and you want it exciting. This is from Sony Interactive Entertainment. So Sony sent me a package. What could it be? So as you can see, don't drop, fragile handle with care. So it's obviously something pretty important. Um, this is really well sealed up. Like you can tell they didn't want people rooting through here. But there's a little bit of a dent here, which I'm a little bit concerned about, but I'm excited to open this up. Let's do this. So I managed to get the top open anyway. Wasn't easy because there was a lot of tape. So let's see. 
Let's have a look here and see what's inside here, shall we? Uh-oh. No way. Oh, dear. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Boys and girls around the world. It's official. I've got a PlayStation 5. I feel like it's Christmas morning and I'm just running downstairs to get my presents under the tree. <laughs> and I just opened up the best present of all first try. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at it! I got a PlayStation 5, Mom! Look, Mommy! I got a PS5! Lads, ladies, check it out! The PlayStation 5 is in my house right now. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I'm so happy. Holy shit. Thank you, Sony. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. All right, lads, that aside, I think it's time we unbox the beast. So strap yourselves in, destroy that like button if you're excited to see my overall impressions and honest review of the packaging and the overall console. Let's unbox this bad boy right now. All right, lads, here it is. The PlayStation 5 console. I'll just give you another little look at the back as well. Very, very big box. Quite heavy too, I'm not gonna lie. So... Let's open this up and see what we got inside. All right, so first things first, let's take off the seal. Um, I don't think there's even a need to cut it off. I think it's pretty easy to peel off. No, wait, 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 wait. We got this, we got this. There we go. No need to cut it whatsoever. Okay, so here we go. This is where it gets exciting, ladies and gents. This is where it gets very, very exciting. Here we go. Let's open it up. Okay, so... I don't know if I'm ready for this. This is going to be difficult to do with one hand, so... You know, I don't have any professional unboxing setup going on, so... You're going to have to bear with me, alright? This is just going to have to do. Feck it! Right, one moment. Alright, lads, here we go. I got the PlayStation. It's time to unbox it. Let's get out of here. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Oh, the box is out, lads. There it is. Oh, baby. You know what this reminds me of? You know what feeling I'm getting right now? Hang on, let me just put the microphone down a bit lower. You know what feeling I'm getting right now? I'm getting the feeling of nostalgia. And what the nostalgia is, is the day I got my first Sega Mega Drive. And the feeling was so surreal. I'm getting that familiar feeling years and years later with the PlayStation 5. So let's open it up. Let's not waste any more time, amigos. Let's do this. All right. All right, so first thing that we're greeted with is, of course, the PlayStation 5 safety manual. We don't need that. We're not all about safety here. We're all about fun. The next thing we got is a quick start kit, but I think we can manage that. We don't need that. And then we also have the guarantee. So that's always a plus. All right, so we've got our power cable, of course. Awesome. Let's put that aside there. We also have the PlayStation 5 official stand. So. Remember what I said about that screw that I'm most likely going to lose it on day one? Well, I probably am, but we'll wait and see. There's the stand anyway, so it'll give you a nice layout of everything once everything's out of the box. All right, lads? All right, lads, so I need to put the box to the side there for a moment because there's something that I was very excited about. Um, probably more excited than the actual console itself. And that is, of course, the DualSense controller, which is in my hands right freaking now. Can you believe this shit? 
Oh god, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh, oh wow. That feels good. That feels really, really good. Oh my god, there it is. Lads, look at it. The DualSense controller is in me fucking hands. This is unreal. This is actually surreal, lads. I'm so blown away. I had the DualSense controller in me hand, lads. Look at this. Look at it. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my god. It feels great. I actually thought it was going to be bigger. But honestly, like, it's not as big as people are saying it is. It's, you know, if you compare it to, like, a... Like a Nintendo standard controller, you know, there isn't a huge difference in size. So, what I have here is the uh, Wolverine Xbox controller. And this is the PlayStation 5 controller. There isn't a huge difference in size. Like, obviously, this one is a little bit wider. But that's it. And it's, it's not as heavy as people say it is either. I've got a lot of people saying on videos and stuff that it's very heavy, it's it's a chunky controller, but it's actually not. And the, the overall design of the controller and the feel of the triggers, the touchpad, everything just feels so right in the palm of my hands. Like this is a very nice controller. Now granted, they did have the missed opportunities with the buttons. They could have had them lighten up the colors of the original buttons. Personally, I think that was a missed opportunity by Sony. But hey, it probably wasn't cost efficient. So I can see why they left that out. But hey, they might release some limited edition controllers that will actually have light up buttons. Which would be very, very cool. Because it does look like these light up, but they, they don't. But there it is, lads. I've got a dual sense in my hand. This is fucking nuts, man. That's the dual sense. Anyway, I wanted to kind of talk about that and get that out of the way. But it's time to get into the real, real important stuff. All right. All right, so that piece of the box is coming out. Right, so let me just show you the inside of this, lads, okay? There it is. All right, so the inside doesn't look very attractive. But I can see why it was very minimalist packaging. Obviously for environmental reasons and it's better for the environment and stuff um, And I have to say like I've seen uh, The boxes to this Xbox Series X and it's definitely presented a lot better um, But I also can understand why Sony went with this route as well But I don't care because the console's in the box and that's all that fucking matters, right? Let's take it out. Here we go We're taking it out of its box ladies and gents Oh, it's coming out. Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. I got a PlayStation 5. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. The box is nice to look at and all, but that's going to have to go over there now because I've got something way more important to deal with, and that's this. You ready, lads? Are you, re are you ready? Are you ready, lads? I don't think you're ready. Here we go. The PlayStation 5. Is in the palm of my hands right now. Okay. Here we go. I don't even know if I have this upside down or what. Pretty sure I have this upside down. But it doesn't matter. Because we are unraveling it. And oh my god, it's chunky! It's a big boy! It is a huge console! Wow! Okay, here it is, lads. Are you ready? I have got the PlayStation 5 in me fucking hands. This is insane. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's massive. Look at it compared to my torso. It's literally the height of my entire torso. Dude! There it is! Lads, we did it. Oh, <laughs> we fucking did it, lads. Look at it. Oh my god, it's really tall. Holy shit, dude. Look at it. This is the PlayStation 5 in all its glory. I actually am blown away by how fucking big this is. <laughs> I've seen comparison pictures and videos, but I was not expecting it to feel this big <laughs> in my hand. Yeah, so this is the PlayStation 5. It's got that ray tracing on the actual console, 
which is always good. <laughs> Let's hope that's not the ray tracing they're talking about. But here it is, as this is, of course, the disc edition of the PlayStation 5. It does come with a digital version as well. But this is the disc version with the Blu-ray drive, so you can play some of your old PS4 games. And if you're a hard copy enthusiast like myself, then this is the copy to go for as well. Because it's... Cause, come on, man. I always love hard copies. I like owning my games and looking at them and actually being able to go to the shop to buy them. I'm afraid of the digital era, even though it is inevitable. But here it is, lads. The PlayStation 5 is in me fucking hands. Right fucking now. It's insane. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's big, but it's beautiful. Like, look, let's, let's compare it to, like, these older gen consoles. Look at that. Compared to the NES, the Mega Drive, the PS1, the PS2. Actually, I'll do that right now. Here's a comparison of the PlayStation 5 to the previous generation PlayStations. So as you can see, lads and ladies, we have the evolution of the PlayStation console. All the way back from the PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2 to what I thought was the biggest PlayStation console, the PlayStation 3. And then we downsized to the PlayStation 4 and shot straight back up with this behemoth of a console known now as the PlayStation 5. Look at this for a size comparison, lads. Every single generation of console side by side. And as you can see, it shot up to this bad boy here, the PS5. There is a huge difference in size from, we'll say, the PlayStation 4. And this is not even the, the, the Pro model or the Slim model. This is the standard PlayStation 4 compared to the PlayStation 5. This thing is literally a tower. And that is the design they're going for. And you can even tell by the way it is designed. It's kind of like a skyscraper that you'd see in the likes of Tokyo. And I think that's insane. And I really love that. And it's really kind of embracing the tall, sleek design. But then when you compare it to previous consoles, you're like, Jesus, they really did make a big leap in design. And I have to respect that. I appreciate that. And I really like how they decided to go that bold route. But here are every single console that ever came out for the PlayStation brand. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, and now 5. Insane. So there it is. Lads and ladies, the PlayStation 5. I'm still in disbelief that this is actually in my home. And I'm still in disbelief that the channel has gotten to this point. So I want to say a huge thank you to the people that made this possible. And that's each and every one of you at home. If it wasn't for the constant support, the constant likes and views and the videos, then Sony wouldn't have seen me or seen the channel or reached out to me at all. So it's all thanks to you and the constant support that you've been giving me over the past year or so, or even since the beginning. You guys have been incredible, and honestly, I'm so grateful and very, very, very appreciative of all of the support that you lads and ladies give me on a regular basis. You have no idea. So in the next couple of weeks, I will be covering a lot of PlayStation 5 related stuff um, from Miles Morales and Demon Souls and... Just any good games that are coming out that you guys want to see, I will be covering them. So again, huge shout out to Sony PlayStation for reaching out to me and supporting me here on the channel and sending me a PlayStation 5. For fuck's sake, that's insane. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below what you thought. And let's just keep on gaming. So thank you everybody for watching, and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy, and I'll see you dudes in my next video. See you later dudes!